Was I happy with how I looked? Sure. Was I satisfied? No. Absolutely not. Despite the fact I had well over 30, 40 pounds more muscle than I ever thought I could get, it still wasn't enough. Coach Greg, and in today's video, I'm not happy with my physique. And here's the problem. You will never be happy with your physique. No matter how great it gets, no matter how many titles you win, you will never be happy with how you look. You will always want more. And so Andrew Burgess made a video. I'm unhappy with my physique and he explains it why and it makes sense and I will explain exactly why this is happening. Also be going over a video of a guy he got his dream physique, the one he trained his entire life for, finally got it, not happy. And so why does this happen? I'm going to explain to you. You're going to understand everything about getting your dream physique, the dangers, the pros, the cons. Stay tuned and find out. And about a year into lifting, I had added some muscle mass, but my standards for what was big were the same as they were in high school. Now that I actually work in the fitness industry, I'm hyper aware of the way that I look, honestly, to an unhealthy level. And so I've seen this time and time again. When you're not involved in fitness, you're not tracking calories, you don't go to the gym, you're simply content with what you look like. It's not even something you think about. Then for whatever reason, you join the gym, you want to lose weight, and you start looking better, feeling better, having more energy. Everything is fantastic. The problem is, it's not enough. You want more. And so to define happiness, for me, what I always say, it's having a little bit more than you expected. And so once you join the gym, you experience newbie gains, you see the changes in your physique right away. It's exciting. And so you're looking better, feeling amazing. The problem is once you lose the weight and you get used to it, it no longer feels amazing. You're thinking, is this it? Like I do think I look pretty good in this video, but one of the first things I'm drawn to is how deep my sternum is. And so once you join the gym and you start being more aware of what your body looks, you start examining it more and you will always see the flaws. Most people will look in the mirror and see their flaws rather than their strengths. They might have great arms, but they're focused on the fact that their chest isn't great. And so this is a problem for everyone. Everyone is going to look in the mirror and compare themselves to either other people or to themselves and see the flaws. I found that whenever I start feeling this way, taking a break from social media and really reminding myself of where I started helps. Imagine coach, right? I'm just going to stop looking at pictures on social media. Don't like the way I look. Gonna stop looking at social media. Stop looking at other people. I just don't see anyone. Don't think that's realistic. But the other example, looking back, reflecting on what you have done, celebrating the positive things you've done to your physique. That is an excellent method to bring positivity to all the work you put in. And so imagine this analogy. You're 300 pounds and you finally decided, I should probably lose some weight and get healthier. You drop 50 pounds on a diet and exercise program and you're now down to 250 and you feel much better than you did. That's great. You're losing weight, seeing the changes in the mirror, and you're now feeling very positive. After a year, that is your new baseline and it no longer feels special. It no longer feels like you've accomplished anything. You're 250 pounds all the time and you're thinking, well, I still have some blubber. I'm not lean, I don't have abs. And so you keep dieting. Perhaps you get down to 225. Another year goes by. Now you're 215 body fat, perfectly healthy, but it's not enough. It should be, but it's not. You then say, I'm going to enter bodybuilding competition. You diet down to 7% body fat. You get fourth place out of 10 guys. You're thinking, wow, I did amazing. You celebrate it. Then it's time to stop the diet. You go back up to 15% and now at 15%, you feel fat. You're like, I don't like the way I look. I used to have a crazy six pack. I was fourth place in that show. I don't like the way I look. And so what do you do? You do another bodybuilding competition. You diet even harder. This time you compete at 5%. You are shredded. You win the show. Yes. Then you regain the weight because you can't maintain 5% year round. You go up to 12%. Only now at 12%. I don't like this. 12%. I feel fat. I remember myself on stage. I was shredded. Veins in my abs. And so you keep competing. You move up to the nationals. You get fifth place national championships and you're natural, imagine. You're doing amazing. Only thing is, it's not enough. You start comparing yourself to other fitness influencers. You go on YouTube and you're looking at other guys and thinking, why can't I look like them? And so you start taking PDs, using steroids. 
you compete at the nationals the next time and you win, you're an IB pro. Yes. Are you happy for that day for a few days? Sure. And then you gain some weight back and you're thinking, I don't like the way I look. And then you decide to compete in a professional bodybuilding competition. Does it sound familiar? Does anyone you know of that done all these things? And so you compete as an IP pro and you get 10th place. 10th. You're used to winning. You did amazing. And so now you're comparing yourself to the elite, the best of the best, the IFBB pro ranks. And so what do you do? You take more steroids. You do anything and everything. You leave no stone unturned and you come back and you compete. And let's say you win. You win the pro show off to the Olympia. You're on top of the world. You get the Olympia. Now you're against the cream of the crop. All the IFBB pro winners competing on that special day and you get 15th place. You're thinking, oh, 15th place, that sucks. You're comparing yourself to the best, the Mr. Olympia competitors. And so you continue to push yourself to be the best. All the while looking in the mirror and thinking, oh, my triceps are weak. I need wider delts. I don't have enough separation in my quads. I just need to go harder than last time. You will never be satisfied. And even if you win, Chris Bumstead, Mr. Olympia winner, multiple time champion, you think he looks in the mirror and says, I love everything I see? Or do you think he sees his flaws? I'm going to come back with bigger biceps. I'm going to have wider shoulders. Get leaner than last time. I need to dominate. And so you will never be happy, never be satisfied. And so my advice, celebrate the little things. Enjoy the journey. The destination, that's not nearly as enjoyable as the journey it takes to get there. And so rather than thinking, if I just lose the weight, if I put on this much muscle, I'll be happy. Not going to happen. When I first started training, my dream physique in my head, if I can get to 160 pounds, 10% body fat, I will have accomplished everything I'll ever want to do. Imagine me at 160 pounds, 10%. That would be incredible. And I did it. I got my dream physique. And as soon as I got there, I was like, I want more. Stayed natural, competed, kept putting on more muscle, kept winning shows. But eventually, you get to a point where you cannot win. You cannot be the best. For me, at the national level, against guys who were on PDs, couldn't win. Wanted an IPD pro card. Took steroids. Abused steroids. Got the pro card. Competed as a pro. Did the best I could do. Was not enough to win. Was I happy with how I looked? Sure. Was I satisfied? No. Absolutely not. Despite the fact I had well over 30, 40 pounds more muscle than I ever thought I could get, it still wasn't enough. Being happy comes from the inside, from knowing that you're doing anything and everything to be the best that you can be. It doesn't come from being perfect. Of course, we want to be perfect. You want to win the competition. But truly being happy, that comes from knowing that you did your best. And whether it's studying for exam, training for a race, dieting for a competition, whatever you want to do in life, knowing that you gave your best effort, that is what brings happiness. But to be honest, it's something that I still struggle with and I'm still working on to this day. And so if you look in the mirror right now and you're not happy with it, then you're in the majority. Most people are not happy with how they look. And thinking that if I just do this or that, that'll change everything, it'll fix the problem, it won't. It's a band-aid fix. You need to realize that you are worthy of love and happiness and that is not dictated by your appearance. Trying to look good in the end, that's just a byproduct of trying to be healthy. Being healthy is what matters most. Looking amazing, that is irrelevant. The better you look, the higher your standards will go. When you're four or 500 pounds bedridden because you're so overweight that you find it hard to move, you're not comparing yourself to Chris Bumstead. But when you're competing in the Olympia, you're comparing yourself to the best. I remember I used to daydream about having more muscle and having a defined six pack and that I would be happy and content once I got it. And so Magnus Balkan, when he was a kid, a little bit overweight and said, I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to lift weights, get on a healthy diet and get my dream physique. And when I get it, I'll be happy then. He got his dream physique only wasn't happy. Now I can finally say that I have achieved my childhood dream physique. And the thing is that I don't really feel much happier. And so we convince ourselves that once I achieve that, then I'll be happy. 
And so you fight and you push through and you do anything to reach that goal, thinking once I get it, I'll be happy and so it'll be worth it. The problem is even if you get it, even if your goal is to win that bodybuilding competition, it's only gonna make you happy for a day or two. And once that's over, the dopamine rush is gone, you're gonna be thinking, now what? What can I do now to make myself happy? You won't have to, yeah, fall into the trap of thinking that once you get that dream physique, you're going to be happy and content, then all your problems are going to be solved because they aren't. Doesn't matter if it's looks, money, athletic ability, or job. Once you are used to a certain level, that will no longer bring you the joy that it once did. Let me say that one more time. It is all about the journey. It's not the destination, it is the journey. The journey through life, day to day, being happy, experiencing joy, that is what's going to bring you happiness. Not saying once I do this, once I achieve, once I achieve that, I will be happy. No, you need to be happy right now, today, as in right this second. I'm happy to be alive. I'm gonna work on things, I'm gonna be the best I can be, but I'm gonna love every single minute of it. It's not weird considering, yeah, we're in the age of social media where everyone is posting their best photos and even a lot of people are photoshopping their photos, so. Exactly, you can't be comparing yourself to other people. Even those people don't look as good as the photos you're seeing in real life. There's photoshopping, the angles, the various pumps, the choosing the best possible photo. People don't look like this in the real world. And so we have unrealistic, unbelievable standards of just what people should look like. Really like this quote that goes something like this. Unhappy people think that they need this certain thing to be happy, but what happy people do is to appreciate what they already have. And so rather than thinking you're only gonna be happy once you get a certain thing, make a certain amount of money, buy a certain car, lose a certain amount of weight, bench press a certain number, it's not the case. Those who are the most happy are happy with what they have right now. And so celebrate what positive changes you've made right now. Whatever weight you've lost, be happy with that. Remember how you used to look. Remember all the hard work that you put in and appreciate that. And remember, it's all about the journey, not the destination. Hopefully the video helped, ending it here. Looking to lose weight and keep it off for the rest of your life? Consider the cookbook, hard copy, so many delicious low calorie recipes, help you lose weight, keep it on. Also, harder than last time supplements, including turf builder, creatine, protein powders, pre-workouts, pump stims, all kinds, too much to name. Click the link in the description. Training books, cookbooks, coaching plans by me and my team. Subscribe, click the bell button, watch the boobs, follow me on Instagram, Greg Doucette, I've been pro. My website, gregdoucette.com. And until next time, I am out.